Hey guys, now I'm over here at Horn Photo. It's right off of Blackstone, and I'm here with owner Stan Gross. Thank you so much for bringing us here today. This You're is, welcome. This is a treat for me. I was telling you, I'm an amateur photographer. <laughs> I pick it up, put it down, you know, but it's kind of in my family, so I'm really happy to be here. Great. Well, welcome, Emily. Welcome to Horn Photo. Okay. Let's talk about sort of this renewed interest in photography. You and I were just talking before, social media has kind of exploded the photography world. You know, people who might have never been interested in it are picking up cameras and they're taking photos. So how has that sort of impacted your business? Well, Horn Photo's been around a long time, so we've loved photographs for many, many years. But it seems like this recent year that we've all gone through, people have realized Fort photography and cameras and everything are sort of like riding a bicycle. You can do it by yourself or with a safe friend. So photography has really gotten renewed in this last year. People love to take the simplicity of taking photographs and enjoying the images. It's, it's fun. So I want to talk to all of the amateur photographers <laughs> out there, the people who are like, I love all these photos on Instagram. I want to take photos of my family. What's a great way for them to start? What's maybe like a great starter camera for them? Oh, well, there's, there's great what we call mirrorless now. I don't want to get too deep into yeah. technology, but mirrorless are lighter, they're easier to use. Basically what mirrorless means is the, the, the capture of the image is coming straight onto the sensor. So you get these great images on a small, lightweight camera that you can carry in a backpack or a purse, and then you can take those photographs, and all of them now can go right to your phone. So if you're shooting with a camera, they can quickly be on your phone. So once they're on your phone, you can see them a little better, you can share them, you can save them for printing, you can adjust them in your phone. So the two worlds come together very well. Much different than uh, my college days with the <laughs> digital camera where you had to race home, you had to put the, you know, the SD card in, load them up to Facebook, much different. Now I want to, you know, it's perfect timing. So I want to talk about sports photography. Oh, sure, yeah. I know there's we a love ton sports. of, yeah, especially here in Fresno and the San Joaquin Valley, sports are huge. So let's talk about maybe some of the best settings to capture those really crisp images of action. Well, I always kind of start to explain it by, remember, photography is light. Light coming in, go, you know, capturing light. So imagine the easiest kind of sports action to shoot would be high school, I mean, uh, say Pop Warner football in the middle of the day on a sunny day, you're out there and you've got lots of light and action and it, that's the easiest. Here's the hardest, in a dark gym trying to shoot basketball. So imagine trying to freeze action of somebody shooting a basketball shot or dunking a basketball in a dark gym versus daylight. So think of it that way, that's uh, so, it's just some are easier than others, some sports are. And if you want to capture that action, you've got to have that super high shutter speed, yes. one two thousandth of a second right. or something like that. Right. So it captures that image. The, the, the lens inside opens mm -hmm. and closes really fast. Yes. Okay. So the better the camera, the better it does in that low light freezing action as you described. So unfortunately, if you're gonna go inside and shoot volleyball or basketball, you need a little better camera than you do to shoot uh, soccer on a Saturday afternoon in a broad daylight. But our phones do a really great job and you're here to help people print photos with whatever oh, yeah. they're shooting with, right? So tell me some of, some of the services that you provide in well, that area. Well, the first rule is, Every image is, is in, whatever's important to you. That could be just a, a moment in time that you were froze with your, with your camera on, on your phone of just a family gathering, or it's an important point when you're up at Yosemite. Wh whatever's important to you. So whether you make a print or you share those images, it's whatever you want to share. And we work with phone photographs or high-end digital photographs from cameras, whichever. And you also do something that's really cool. You guys do restoration, oh, yeah. and you also do digitization of like VHS oh, yeah. or um, you know videotapes. I have a ton of like softball videotapes that I'm sure my dad would love to watch on his phone or something. You guys can handle that. Well, that's the fun part about Horn Photo. Half of this is all about capturing new images, and half of Horn Photo is about helping you do something with images that have already been created, whether they were created this morning or they were created 100 years ago. We're going to help you with those old photos or those slides or those VHS tapes and because they're not doing any good if they're in the drawer or up in an attic. Okay, well very cool. I'm gonna send my dad here with my old softball tapes. Stan, where can people find you? How can they get a hold of you if they want to put in an order for prints or they, you know, they want you to help them restore some photos? Well, it's real easy. Hornphoto.com. 
is uh, on the internet, of course. We have a great website where you can order prints, you can buy cameras, whatever, whatever you need. Just think of Horn Photo. And then the other thing is you can come to our beautiful store right here in the Villaggio. We're in the back corner of the Villaggio Shopping Center at Blackstone and East, right next to Sierra Nut House. And we have a great back entrance. It's easy to get in and out with lots of parking. Well, this store is beautiful. Thank